Turning 18 in many cultures is a really big deal. And when I turned 18, my family marked the occasion by giving me a watch. But you'd be mistaken to think that this watch is a normal watch because it's so good, it actually is able to do 60 seconds in just 30 seconds, as you can see in this video. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you want to have that same kind of powers when you're actually watching a video? Stick around and I'll show you exactly how to do it. This is Gustavo from Spot on Uni, and today I want to share with you one of the biggest unfair advantages you can ever have on top of everyone else, the power of watching a 40 minutes video in just 20 minutes. I am sure that the joke of the watch that I told you at the start of this video might not have been the funniest joke you ever heard. And there is a risk that some of you might have needed to rewind the video just to make sure you got the joke. But the principle behind it exists. Because videos actually share information with you at the same time through visuals and sounds, it is one of the best ways for you to actually learn stuff. And the beauty is YouTube is one of the best places to do that. Did you know that YouTube is the second largest search engine there is in the world, second only to Google, who actually owns YouTube? Did you also know that every minute there's a hundred hours of new content that's uploaded to YouTube? This makes YouTube the biggest database for video and therefore the biggest source for you to actually learn through videos. It would be fantastic to make the most of this valuable resource by watching as much content as possible, right? Problem is, we just don't have enough time to watch all this valuable content. Or do we? Today, I want to share with you how you can watch more videos in the same amount of time just by accelerating your videos. And the good news is, even if you go faster than the intended speed of the video, your brain will still capture everything you need. And this is proven by science. So let's look at three reasons you should really start watching your videos on fast forward. The first reason is about increased focus and attention. Because the video goes faster, you end up needing to focus more, simply because any distraction will make you miss the point of the video and force you to rewind or even worse, start all over again. And this is actually proven by science. Students that took part on the research actually were more focused and more attentive to the content, they learned more and they achieved better grades as a result of watching faster videos. And here's a video I fast forwarded by 1.5 times the normal speed for you to see how focused it makes you. The third argument in favor of writing is about focus and attention. Did you ever notice that when you're actually writing something down, your attention is fully concentrated on the tip of the pen or pencil? What's happening is that you're focusing on the same time on your input, so the pen leaving some ink, and the output, which is whatever you created. Reason number two was just too obvious to be put as number one. You could say it's time saving, but in itself is making a better use of your time. You can either watch a 10 minute video in five minutes and just move on, or you could also watch the same video twice in the 10 minutes it was planned to be watched initially, and research shows you actually learn more by watching twice in double speed than once at normal rate. Therefore, you are optimizing the time you're spending, either by spending less time or by getting the most out of the time that you have allocated for the videos. The third and most important reason for you to fast forward videos is that it doesn't hurt or hinder your learning and understanding of the concepts of the videos you're watching. Research shows that when it comes to learning, there's absolutely no difference between watching a video on the normal speed or twice its speed. The human brain actually is very comfortable to go twice the normal speed with very limited training. And if you feel twice the speed is too fast for you, just go 1.5 times the normal speed. You are still saving yourself 30% of your time. In fact, the brain is so comfortable dealing with accelerated videos you can actually go faster with practice. With that being said, research actually identified a threshold of 2.5 times the normal speed. Beyond this, you can still accelerate the video and understand stuff, but your understanding and learning will be lower. So you will have to do a trade-off. And now let me share with you how to actually do it. Let's say that you want to accelerate a video that is on YouTube. If you are watching a video on desktop, just find the wheel here for settings and you have the speed option. 
and you can choose among the options there up to twice the speed. On mobile or tablet, if you click on the three dots here at the top, you can find the settings for the speed, again, up to twice the normal speed. But what if you actually want to do a speed that YouTube doesn't offer? When I first started accelerating my videos on YouTube, 1.5 times the speed was very comfortable. Two times was a bit of a struggle, so I was trying to find the middle ground. Problem is, YouTube doesn't offer you that middle ground. In those situations, where you're not comfortable yet going twice the speed, but like me, you wanted to go maybe at 1.7 or 1.8, you can use a Google Chrome plugin. This plugin is called Video Speed Controller, and it's available for both Mac and Windows as long as you use the Chrome browser. This plugin is fantastic for three reasons. Number one, you can go really granular with the control of the speed, and you can go to 1.44, 1.75, or whatever speed you want. Number two, even if you decide to go faster than twice the speed, even at 2.5, you will not have the impression that you're listening to a chipmunk screaming. <coughs> Sorry for that. And finally, reason number three, it works everywhere. To this day, I still haven't found a single video I couldn't fast forward if I wanted to. There we are. Now you know how to accelerate a video and why you should definitely do it whenever you're learning something. I recommend you not to use it when you're watching a TV show or a movie. Sure, you could binge watch much more content, but believe me, it won't be as enjoyable. Instead of using this technique on a TV show, why don't you just go ahead and practice watching one of my videos? That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video and until next time, take care. Hey there, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to find out about one technique that will give you an unfair advantage on top of everyone else, give you better grades by studying less, you can just follow this URL and I'll teach you exactly how to do it. I'll see you there. Take care.